Malishani Vonsei, welcome back to our channel. I hope you're all having an amazing Friday or Saturday, depending on when and where you're watching this video from. Today happens to be the first day of October 2021 and the weather actually dropped a little bit so in true fall fashion i'm wearing a turtleneck <laughs> and i'm loving it because fall fashion is some of my absolute favorite fashion to wear and yeah these are happy beginnings so anyway i'm actually doing laundry today today's a laundry day and so of course my hair is in a messy bun and i actually kind of like it i think i like the messy bun look not taking anything too seriously of course i put a bit of makeup on just so i don't look like a grizzly bear in front of the camera <laughs> i wanted to look a little bit polished even though we're basically going to be getting our hands dirty today so yeah so a lot of the items that i'm going to be cleaning today are thrifted and a lot of them are fall fashion which i'm really excited about because i want to get to style them very soon so i think that today is the perfect day for me to start um to get them clean so that that way i can wear them in the next four to five months hopefully depending on how Texas behaves, how well Texas behaves. So anyway, um, without further ado, let me get started. I want to show you the very first thrifted item that I have. Just take a look at that. This is a beautiful um, trench coat. This is actually like a tweed fabric. It's made in a tweed fabric. And I think it's a vintage trench coat by Apartment 9. I'm not sure if that's a vintage brand. But I got this from a garage sale. I actually got this from my Oma, who was clearing out her closets. This used to be my sister-in-law's coat. So I know that she had kept it clean. And so it doesn't. it's not going to need too much of a clean. I'm just going to go ahead and do a little bit of freshening up on it and disinfecting you know from dust mites and stuff like that with the steamer that i have and it should be good to go this is probably going to be the easiest thing to clean today for me to clean today and so i'll go ahead and get started with that and by the way i want you to know that today i want to do an in-depth laundry session with you so I'm not sure if I'm going to be dry cleaning anything in the dryer today, like using the dryer to actually dry clean it or use any cleaning agents because I closely monitored everything that I bought over the weekend and none of them seem to have any stains, but we'll see. Some of them might have stains maybe on the wrists or on in the armpit areas and stuff like that. So. That's stuff that I'm going to take you through. So you basically get to see every little single step that I make. So to start, just go ahead and turn that on and I'll let it heat up. And we should be good to go. So let's see if I can try this on for you. Like I said, it's, it's clean. I trust my sister-in-law. I don't think she's dirty. <laughs> So I just want to try it on for you so you can see how it looks. It's actually a little bit oversized. Let me move you down. This is hard to move. There we go. It's a little bit oversized, but I do love how it feels. Like it's not, you know, it's not clinging to my body, but if I like, if I want to, I can definitely put a belt and cinch it in the waist a little bit more depending on how I'm feeling but for now I think this is going to work really really well and I wanted to show you oh there's a small stain actually there's a little stain over there it's hardly noticeable though okay I wanted to move you over a little bit I think this is probably the best angle for you to see me try clean this but it's pretty self-explanatory or oh, it's pretty straightforward it's not going to be complicated at all my steamer is steamy you can see that steam going 
and I'm just going to go ahead and give it a quick steam both inside and out and by the end of this steaming session yes and my steamer goes off because it's um, it's got a thermostat so it will come on and go off and then it will cool off a little bit and then come on again but yeah it's pretty pretty straightforward let's wait and see <laughs> dust mites that may have been on there you know from the dust particles are now gone they have been eradicated and it is it smells nice and fresh actually that's why I love steamers because they tend to get rid of the smells like you know the old smell of clothing when you buy thrifted clothing steaming it definitely helps with that but then there are also other agents that you can use what I'm going to do with this one, because it has a small stain on it, I'm going to, right here, let me see, it has a small stain. It's actually, it's not that visible. It's not that visible at all, so I'm even wondering, you see that there? I'm wondering if I should even try to clean it, but for the sake of this video, just because I did say I was dry cleaning at home, I'm going to use my dry out spray. This is a cleaning agent and what you need to do to clean stains is all you do is you shake it well and then you spray the stain and you get a paper towel. I've got a napkin. I don't have any paper towels and you just pat it dry like so. So depending on how bad the stain is, you might need to keep on spraying. But actually because mine wasn't bad, I think it looks fine. So now there's the little area that I was trying to clean. That's the little area. And I think it's as good as new. I think it's fine. I don't think it's going to be extremely noticeable. It's going to dry out and it'll probably lighten even a, it'll lighten a little bit more after it's dry. But I think this is good to go. It's as good as new. Well, for the most part, it's as good as new for my wardrobe. And I'm going to put this one away and we'll move on to the next item, clothing item that I'm going to be dry cleaning, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so the next clothing item that I have that says dry clean only are these beautiful cigarette pants. These are also in some type of tweed fabric. It's, well, it's not, it's not like a full-on tweed, it's like a light tweed fabric, and I absolutely love these. I had to snatch these out, up when I saw them at the thrift store. Now, upon looking at these as well, they do not have any stains on them. So I don't need to use the dry cleaning agent or throw them in the dryer. But what I'm going to be doing to freshen them up and basically kill all the germs that are on, that are possibly on these pants, is I'm going to spray them with some lavender essential oil. Now, the benefits of lavender, using lavender on your clothes or spraying lavender on your clothes is it has antibacterial and inflammatory and antifungal properties. So if your clothing item has any of those things, if it has allergens on it that can cause inflammation on your skin when you wear the clothes, this is going to tackle that. It's going to combat that. 
and if there any there's any bacteria in your clothing or fungus yeah it's going to do the exact same thing i mean i know a lot of people will have reservations about thrifting clothes because they're secondhand and you just don't know who wore them before you and sometimes they take a really long time to sell so they keep gathering dust and all kinds of bacteria on them but this definitely gives me a peace of mind because this is a natural essential oil and so all I'm going to do is I'm going to shake it up and I'm going to spray it on so just and I'm going to pat it I'm going to use the I'm using the same napkin to just wipe some of the excess off and so this is basically getting rid of all that bacteria and all that fungi that you find on clothes, find on clothing. And the good thing about this is I don't have to do it on the inside because it's penetrating through the fabric. So through all the fibers of the fabric. So all I'm going to do is, I'm going to do it on the outside and it looks feels pretty good on this side. So I'm going to shake it up a little bit again and do it on the back. You can see I'm spraying it generously because I want to make sure this thing is, these pants are treated before I put them on. <laughs> I do not want to, <laughs> to end up with hives or some weird rashes on my legs. Ugh, can you imagine that? <laughs> I'm, I'm seriously not trying to scare you away from thrifting clothes because I am a strong advocate for buying secondhand because it's good for the earth. Yes, I am one of those people in terms of thrifting. It's definitely good for the planet and it helps you to think outside the box in terms of how you shop. And it actually allows me to be a lot more creative because I'm not always going with the trends. I tend to find clothes that fit me well. And ironically enough, a lot of the fashion that looks good on my body type is fashion from the 60s and from the 80s is vintage fashion basically. So that's what I love about thrifting. It allows me to be able to experiment and explore and get creative with my wardrobe versus just going to the store and finding stuff that's trending at the moment. So, but I'm not saying that I'd never, I'll never ever buy anything brand new. I'm just saying I prefer to thrift my clothes. Yeah, so now that we're done with the sermon, I'm going to turn this on again. Oh, that is so satisfying. You see that? It is so satisfying when the steamer is at work. This is therapeutic for me. But to be honest, it's usually only therapeutic if I don't have to steam hundreds of clothes <laughs> from doing two or three things, steaming two or three things. I love it. Yeah, and we are good on this one. So there you have it. Beautiful pants. They're ready for me to wear. And I'm definitely going to be styling these in an upcoming fashion video. So fall fashion video. So keep your eyes peeled for that, and we're going to move on to the next one. Okay, and now for the PS de Resistance. <laughs> now for the PS de Resistance, I have this beautiful winter coat jacket. I thrifted this for three dollars at a garage sale, and I just want you to take a look at. It's majesty. This is your majesty. But something I will say about this, this coat is absolutely fabulous. It is so, so lush and luxurious. But one thing I will say is I can tell how extremely old it is. It definitely needs some TLC because it's peeling. You can see some of that. And that makes me so sad because 
I know I'm going to have to take extra care of this one, which I usually do with all my clothes. I try to make sure that I take really good care of them so that I get to wear them for years to come. I have, I still have clothes that I thrifted like five or six years ago and they're still intact. Most of my clothes only get ruined if maybe they had a spill on them or something like that. But yeah, this one is definitely going to need tons of TLC because you know nobody has worn it in years and that fur is coming off. I'm pretty sure it's a full fur. Even though it looks like a real fur, it's actually a full fur. It doesn't say that it's real anywhere in here, but you can tell that vintage lining and it's definitely got that vintage, well, like it's been packed up for years and years, that type of smell. I can tell that it's got a lot of dust on it, which means it's probably got dust mites. And so what I'm going to do is, oof, I, it's, it smells awful. Now, like I said, don't let that discourage you from thrifting things that may not have the best smell because you can definitely transform them right in the comfort of your own home. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead, let's see if I can put it up here for a minute on one of these hooks. Yeah, it's on the hook. Let me turn, take you down a little bit. Come on, it's hard for me to maneuver this. There we go. So, oh my gosh. Hazard of the job. I just, I turned this on and I dropped it and we would have had hot water all over the floor, so. Oof, just dodged a bullet there. So anyway, I'm not going to try to like dust this. Well, you don't really see like any dust coming off, but I'm not trying to spread allergens everywhere. So I'm just basically going to combat the issue at the, um, I, I'm at a loss for words. What was I trying to say? At the problem area or at the problem point, at the location, <laughs> at the location. <laughs> so same thing, I'm going to use the lavender because this one definitely needs this and I'm definitely going to like deep clean this one in which you're, and you're going to see that in a couple minutes. So spray that on. Whew. You need it, honey. You need it, honey. That. Oh, that is strong. That lavender is so strong. But you know the good thing about lavender, though? Let me lift it so you can see what I'm doing. <coughs> that lavender is strong. But the good thing about lavender is that it gets rid of all those musky smells. And this lavender has vanilla in it, too. So it's definitely combating all of that. You can see a bit more dust in the back. Oh man, hope I won't be sneezing throughout this video in a couple of minutes. Let's do the back. There we go. Let's pat that dry. Oh yeah, that is so satisfying. Oof. That is so satisfying. Jeez. Okay, I think I got most areas. But same thing with this one. It definitely is going to need a really, really good steam. So, <coughs> yeah. Don't worry, not lavender isn't hazardous to your health, but you best not uh, drinking it inhaling it. Oh, let's get that steamer. Start steaming. Okay, I am done steaming this coat and it looks and feels a lot better. It's not as stinky. Well, like when I say stinky, it just felt like it had been 
stored away for a really long time and it had started gathering dust. That's the type of stink I'm talking about. It's not like musty, like you know, like musty from sweat or stuff like that. You get what I mean? <laughs> TMI. But yeah, um, now that I've steamed it, I'm thinking, I'm still thinking about wiping it down with some soapy water um, in a little bit, but I'll let it sit for now because this is definitely a delicate coat and I don't want it to go through way too much all at once. So I'm going to leave this here for now and we're going to move on to my hand washing. So let's go ahead and get that started. Okay, we're in our bathroom right now and I already have clothes that are hanging. These were actually um, washed in the washer but I let them I always take them out to air dry because it prolongs their um, life, I guess, life, lifespan. Well, they're not alive, but you get what I mean. <laughs> I'm being so awkward in this video. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to show you all of the clothes. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. That's just some of the, the dust and the lavender that I inhaled. I was expecting to sneeze. I ended up coughing instead, but um, I feel sneeze coming on. Hold on. Okay. I think we're good. So anyway, let me give, bring the clothes over here. <laughs> oh, let me drag this over here. It's a full basket of clothes. Absolutely full, full, full on. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide these clothes up by color so that that way they're easier to clean and just in case there are any clothes that bleed color um, I do not want to end up staining anything while I'm hand washing it and I've done this for years and years I actually grew up hand washing my clothes because I come from Zambia and if you have any African roots or I'm pretty sure other parts of the world hand wash their clothes as well and even people here in the US used to do that a long long time ago so it's part of our culture and it's something that I've learned to really enjoy doing. I actually do look forward to laundry days where I get to hand wash clothes because uh, I find it very very therapeutic and I love just hanging clothes up and the smell, the aroma that the soap uh, creates in the home. So it's very, very nostalgic for me because my mom used to do that usually like Thursday night she'd soak the clothes in buckets and Friday night she'd start washing them after she got home from work or after dinner and the entire house smelled like clean laundry or fresh laundry, fresh freshly washed laundry and that is just oh I love that I love that feeling I love that the sentiment of it so that's what we're doing here so I'm going to go ahead and get started with that I have quite a bit to do so I'm definitely going to go ahead and soak each and every pile up but I will show you how I hand wash the clothes that are pretty easy to clean that weren't that dirty so that that way you can see how I use my hands to get these clothes clean at home without having to use a washing machine and a really 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 important and great benefit of hand washing your clothes is that it prolongs their um, their lifespan this is the best I'm sorry, this is the best word I can use for them. It prolongs their lifespan in terms of how long you actually get wear out of them versus if you wash them in the washer and throw them in the dryer every single time. Your clothes will probably only last for a good season unless they're really, really well made, like unless they're made with uh, natural materials or natural fabrics. But I have come to find that because I hand wash most of my clothes, or most of the clothes that I wear, I have had clothes, I have clothes that I left back home 10 years ago, oh, 11 years ago now, 
that I just told my parents to give away because I know that I'm never going to ever wear them again. And it's the same with the clothes that I have now. All the clothes that I hand wash, unless they're in really, really bad condition, end up lasting for years on end. And this keeps me from actually being wasteful when it comes to uh, rotating my clothing because I get really, really good wear out of them. So this is definitely an added benefit and I think that it's something that I would encourage everybody to try. Um, you know, you don't have to go full on hand washing because it is time consuming. But a good hack is soaking them before you hand wash them because the soap breaks down all of those, um, all of the bacteria and the dirt and all of those stains in your clothes beforehand. So you're going to have to do very, very little, if any, physical labor when it comes to um, <clears throat> when it comes to actually scrubbing them with your hands. So. Okay, that brings us to the end of today's laundry session. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you found it helpful. I hope you were able to take some tips and tricks from this uh, vlog and hopefully implement those tips in your own laundry sessions. And let me know if you hand wash your clothes. I'm pretty sure that a lot of our Zambian followers do that. A lot of our African followers do that. I don't know about other people from around the world, but I do know that hand washing is an ancient practice and multiple cultures around the world still practice it. So anyway, it's about to start raining and I need to go pick Isabella up from school. So I'm going to sign off right now. And before I forget, I will try to make sure that I have everything that I used in this video link down below, except the clothing, of course, because it was thrifted, so I can't link it. But if I do find something in store, maybe like on Amazon.com, that's pretty reasonable and pretty similar, I might link a few things here and there. But I'm basically going to focus on linking the cleaning agents, like the lavender essential oil, the dry L, and the purex but you can use any detergent that you like i'll just have a few link down below in case you're interested in purchasing those and so until next time well hopefully tomorrow i will see you in the next vlog bye